everyone, welcome to my Photoshop tutorial today I'm going to be teaching you how to do breast enhancement within Photoshop. Now to do this you'll be wanting an image to work with. Now you use one of your own, so if you're just training to, for this technique, you can go onto Google Images or Photo Exchange website where I found this one. And I'll give you a link to this image also. And now once you've downloaded it and you've put it into Photoshop, now if you are brand new to Photoshop and you don't know how to put images in, you can go to File and Open and then select your image wherever you saved it. Now once you have it into Photoshop, we're going to start work. Now we're going to double click that layer uh, picture and we're going to go OK just to take the padlock off and to make it an active layer. Now I'm going to duplicate this just to show you before and after effects, which you don't have to do but you might want to do it just in case you make a mistake now make sure you've got the top layer selected then we're going to go to filter we're going to go to liquify now this tool here is very very good I use this tool a lot now you want to go and select the bloat tool which is the little circle with the four arrows uh, on four sides of it now we're going to zoom in like that and you want to put your brush up just so it covers the area and we're just going to bloat where it needs to be now you want to go very slowly just in case you make any mistakes like that and you want to keep the brush rate at 80 uh, brush size is up to you depending on your picture size. Brush density to around 50 I put it. Now I'm just going to do this very very quickly so I'm not going to pay too much attention on what I'm doing. Um, but you're going to have a lot more time on your hands to do this. Then I'm going to bring down the brush size and just going to fill inside the bra uh, up a bit like that. Now once you've got them the way you want them, you're going to go and click OK, like that. Now to give them more depth, we're going to go to the burn tool, like this, uh, which is on the left hand side, which is the little hand, and you're going to zoom in. You can do this by going pressing the Alt key on your keyboard and scrolling in with your mouse wheel. You're going to go on midtones exposure depending on your image at the time and how well it burns the image I'm going to keep it to around 19 because I don't need it to burn and we're just going to burn the outline like this and then zoom out Now you're going to have to play around uh, with this technique uh, a lot more than me. Like I said, I'm just doing this very quickly just to show you. And then we're going to go to Highlights in the Burn tool. And we're going to zoom in again. Like that. And now we're just going to burn just the outside uh, the bra where it's a bit too, where it'd normally be darker like so just take your time on this bit keeping the exposure to 19 or whatever you want like that now if something goes wrong and say the arms bent a bit here you can go to the history brush which is on the left hand side art history brush tool or the history brush and then paint in um, the arm like that but I don't need to do that uh, for mine because mine looks okay but if yours is uh, the arm a bit bent and you need to change it up you can go to the art history brush tool and um, re-edit that in which is really really easy so that's the tutorial um, I hope you liked it 
uh, this is the before and after so after and before like that and yeah so I hope you liked the tutorial please uh, play around with the effects I just showed you and make them your own and uh, I'll see you next time bye for now